All right, guys, all the time in my videos, I get these comments from people saying, why don't you buy anything? Why don't you buy anything? Why don't you buy anything? The fact of the matter is, I do buy things. You see in my spirit Halloween videos all the time where I'm saying, I'm tempted to buy this. I'm so tempted to buy this. I'm so tempted to buy this. And I also say, but I can't buy it because I live in an RV. If you don't quite understand that, it's because an RV is pretty small. I don't have all kinds of room for big animatronics and stuff like that, but I do buy a lot of the smaller stuff. And today I'm gonna show you a handful of the things that I bought this past season at Spirit Halloween. Now I know which one everybody wants to see. Everybody keeps asking me, when am I gonna unbox it? When am I gonna build it? When am I gonna show it to you guys? And it's gonna be coming soon, but we'll talk about that one later. Because today I have one of the many bags full of stuff that I bought at Spirit Halloween. I'm not even sure what's in this bag right now. I just grabbed one and I'm gonna show you what's in it. So the first thing here is zero. <laughs> Look at this, I got them all folded up. Hold on, let's straighten him out here and get him more zero looking. We got his big ears here. Look at this, that is so hilarious. Look at his pumpkin nose there. That is so funny. This is the hanging zero. He is not an animatronic. You just take this thing here and hang him from the ceiling or wherever you're gonna hang him. And, uh, and he just sits there and he looks cute, like Zero does. You gotta love Zero. He's got the awesome pumpkin nose, the big white ears, and the ghostly body, so he can just ghost right along. All right, so anybody who doesn't know, yes, this is Zero. He's from The Nightmare Before Christmas, probably my favorite character in there, even though he doesn't do a whole lot. He's just so awesome and cute. And uh, let's see, this guy was $19.99 at Spirit this year. I think I just bought him probably about, I don't know, three weeks ago or something, but he is totally awesome. One of my favorite things that I bought. Next up is I think the most recent thing I bought. I bought this on possibly even my last trip to Spirit Halloween, which I don't remember where that was. I believe it was in either Georgia or South Carolina, but I don't remember. But anyway, this is what I got, guys. It's Michael Myers. This is such an awesome mask. This is, I think, my favorite Michael Myers mask um, out of all of them. Now, that's meaning the ones that you can buy in the store. My favorite Michael Myers mask of all time is from the original 1978 Halloween, which I actually am wearing that shirt right now. And if you haven't seen that video, bounce over there and watch that video because I got two of these awesome shirts from Terror Threads. Absolutely love them. But this is the mask that I bought, the Halloween uh, Michael Myers from 2018. I was considering getting the Halloween Kills mask, but I actually like this one better once I compared them. I honestly have not even seen Halloween Kills yet. I need to do it, I just haven't had the time to go. But yeah, this one's from 2018. I absolutely love it. Let's do an all around. Look at that profile, dang, that is creepy. Remember in the original when he sits up and he turns his head? <laughs> So yeah, this is the mask all the way around. And he is totally awesome. Let's see, what's it say? On the inside it says 2018 Miramax, all rights reserved. Um, yeah, registered trademarks, blah, blah, blah. It's a pretty thick mask actually too. So it's it's a pretty good quality. Um, this was $69.99, Trick or Treat Studios there. And I believe I actually used one of my coupons that gave me like 20% off this too. So I think I got it for about 50 bucks. But totally awesome mask. I love it. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But there you go. Michael Myers 2018. All right, let's see. What else do I have in here? Oh, okay. I got two more things coming up here, guys. And this one here, you all know that I love the Burrito Baby. And I, I believe that I showed you the Burrito Baby in the last video of things that I bought at Spirit Halloween. But this one here, I couldn't pass it up. I tried to leave him on a shelf and I just couldn't. It's Spider Biter Billy. You gotta love this guy. Look at this. 
And his name is even good, too. It's actually Spider Biter Billy. You guys know that when I see these zombie babies in the store, they usually have a corny name, and I give them a totally different name. Like the little girl that's pouting. Let's see, what did I call her? Um. Then we have Little Miss Throwing a Fit. We have two of them, and look at her eyes. Oh, Little Miss Throws a Fit. Yeah. <laughs> no, mi Little Miss Throwing a Fit. That's what it was. That's what I called her. But, um, but this is Spider Biter Billy. Look, he's eating the spiders. He's got spiders all over him. I thought this would be an awesome uh, Halloween costume. Like if I dressed up and I and I put on, you know, a, a, an outfit just like this and put spiders all over myself, including one going in my mouth, and then just carried this around when everybody else was trick-or-treating, that would be absolutely hilarious. So yeah, Spider Biter Billy. Um, huh, it's funny because all the baby's eyes are different. Like, I don't know how well you can see that. But his eyes have like a plastic clear covering. Some of the other ones are red. Um, I know Little Miss Throwing a Fit. I know her eyes are red. Her eyes are like reflective. How evil is that? Take your evil eyes and go back. In. You're going to get a spanking. Um, and some of them I've seen are really shiny. Some of them are kind of dull. But these eyes look kind of cool. Actually, they look kind of like cataracts. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, that's Spider Biter Belly. And he was forty two ninety nine, and he's one of my favorite zombie babies that they had this year. So, Spider Biter Billy. All right, he's going back in the bag. And last but not least, for this video at least, I have plenty more of these videos coming of things that I bought at Spirit. But this one here is all of our favorites. And this one here is the reason why I started leaving stickers in the store. Here we go. You, you want to stick all these in there? There you go. Put them all. Put them all in Charlie's bucket. There. There you go. <laughs> I got a little helper today. All right. It's Uncle Charlie. Look at this. Now, of course, it's not the giant animatronic Uncle Charlie, but it's this little guy here, the doll. You look at his red shoes. What are those? <laughs> so, yeah, Uncle Charlie. Look at that. He also needs the Aquafresh. Look at them teeth, man. Look at that face. He is so detailed. All right, let's listen to what he says. Don't worry. Won't scare me, too. <laughs> the only thing is that I wish he came with, like, a little bucket. I'm sure you could get a little bucket at, at a craft store or something, maybe even a dollar store, and uh, paint it up like his where it says free candy and hang it from his hand. That would be sweet. Oh, I'm sorry I was smashing your arm there. Uh, Mr. Charlie. But let's listen to some more. Want a little candy? Come on. I won't hurt you much. <laughs> I won't hurt you much. Come here. Take a little bite. You know what you want. Come here and take a little bite. <laughs> I don't know how many sayings he has. Don't worry. Won't scare me too. <laughs> yeah, okay. So it sounds like he has three sayings. It doesn't say, oh, but he is sound activated. You can either squeeze him or he's sound activated. So you could actually set him down like in a seat somewhere where somebody was unexpected, like in the bathroom. You could set this guy in a corner in the bathroom and then like your mom comes in to go to the bathroom, turns on the light and uh, and coughs or something and uncle charlie would start talking and scare the crap out of her that would be hilarious so all right guys that is this video here i got nothing else in this bag unfortunately but like i said i do have plenty of other things to show you things that i bought this season and yes eventually we're gonna get around to johnny punk because i bought johnny punk and uh, we're going to make another video for him, set him up, get him going and everything. I know all of you love Johnny Punk and his What Are Those Shoes. So, yeah, we'll be doing that soon. Stick around, guys. Make sure you subscribe. Plenty more Spirit Halloween and awesome Halloween stuff coming. And, yes, I am going to be doing Christmas videos, but I'm not going to be doing those yet. They're coming in their own time. Last year and the year before, I started doing Christmas videos early, and everybody was like, no, we still want Halloween. So we're sticking with Halloween for a little bit here, but Christmas is coming. All right, guys, I will see you later. What are those?